there's one other group that I do want to recognize. You see all these young people with these cameras and iPads and smartphones. They're part of a project that the Rainier Beach Coalition organizes called the Freedom Net Project and also um, the Rainier Beach Story Guild. And so we train them to be citizen journalists to report stories like this going on in the neighborhood so that we can change the perception of our neighborhood from the inside out. So they, the stories that they are going to be recording, be it by video or um, texting, um, is going to be part of the, the, the website and promoted throughout the neighborhood. So I just want to give them some appreciation too, so that they know how important they are to contributing to this process. Shay, and I don't even remember your last name. <laughs> Shay Cheatham Wells, who will do her home story. You have to talk really loud. Which uh, I hear you every day. So don't, don't even front like you pay me last. You got that page changes to yours. <coughs> My story is called The Seat of the Heart. Oh, man. My name is Regis. This is my story. It says school. The title is school. It's called There is a Miracle, uh, The Miracle of Being Thankful. My story is about thanks. It's about the thanks. Okay. A little louder now. I'm sitting Sorry. next to you. I want to hear all Thank of this. <laughs> 24 year old. What do you plan on doing here? Um, impact on you? Dancing. <laughs> Promoting. Yeah. Inspiring. Inspiring. Yes. All that. So we want people, when they drive by, we want them to be able to see us no matter what nationality they are, and want to come and be a part of the program as a whole. How do you want to see the community involved in the new Rainier Beach Community Center? How will the community benefit? I think uh, the, the more creative approaches that people have um, and come up here and volunteer, those that uh, use some of the uh, job mentoring programs that are here, it'll benefit the community in a variety of ways. Uh, the other part is that we have a chance to mentor a lot of kids, a lot of youth, so that they can come back and start giving on their own as well. I've been in this community for over 30 years. I, I own two homes right here in the Rainier Beach area. And it's, and it's really important to me to see the two of that our children have a place that's safe, to, you know, and, and fun, you know, and that they can truly be a part of. Okay. What are three significant changes that have taken place in this community? Um, the rebuilding of the community, um, the change of the culture, and which goes along with economical changes. You can see the difference of the property level change. Okay, I work at the Seattle Office of Civil Rights and we enforce the city's anti-discrimination laws. So if somebody feels they were discriminated trying to get a job or in housing or in a public place, they can come to our office and file the charge for free and we'll investigate it. I actually grew up in the Arena Valley, graduated from Arena Beach High School. What? What's wrong with your be? No, I go there. Oh, see? Black family. Black family. What brought you to this neighborhood? What brought me to this neighborhood? Um, this, to me, this is more than just a job. It's uh, an opportunity for me to give back to my community, a uh, community that I dearly love. Uh, I want to make sure that every kid that I 
come into contact with, know that they can also go out there, get a career, if you're not a law enforcement, a career, and come back to the community uh, uh, and share that with them.
um, put yourself in a difficult spot. But it, it's worth it. Um, if it doesn't pan out, you'll know that you know <laughs> you you were courageous enough to do that, and um, and you know that oh you can react to this thing. But I also feel that music has a play in that as well, and dance, and singing, and acting, and doing what you're doing. What you're doing is so important. You, as a group, are affecting change. You are affecting change, change for yourself, causing changes for yourself. I don't know if you realize that, but you will, as you publish all of this stuff, be affecting positive changes um, for the community as well. As well now, as journalists, you can empower other youth to be strong and to resist um, gang recruitment, and I'm not saying that that's easy, but you can empower them through the power of the world. We're saying that no matter what, if you stay the course, you'll all make it. And that's the message that we have to get out to our community to stem this, this growing tide of violence, that we need to close rank close ranks, we need to stay strong, and we need to get resources to have whoever needs them. Okay? So if I had to give you guys any advice, I would just say this, and this is for anything. Always remain teachable. Always remain teachable. Because when you know everything, you can't learn anything. I said always remain teachable. Because if you know everything, you can't learn anything. I live, I live by that. I live by that. So I think it's like uh, make the right choices, right? I just think that you know you got this far in life by making the right choices, right? You keep making those choices, and what it does is it allows you to open more doors. Um, you start to make wrong choices, and your pathway gets narrow. So, part of making right choices is being around the right people, right? Um, I would also say, like, if anybody like, pursue. Um, get to know you. Get to know you. Um, I believe whenever you come into a situation, how you best know yourself is how you're going to be able to present yourself. Mm -hmm. You cannot present yourself if you do not know yourself. What you end up doing is presenting um, somebody else. So we were, we uh, but like again, like uh, the, the more that you are um, uh, engaged with yourself to know what you're about the more you're better able to communicate yourself to other people. Again, you can't bring the humanity to a job interview or things like that. Know what you're passionate about. Know, uh, even if you don't know what your purpose is for, know that you were made with purpose uh, and things like that. And so, uh, as opposed to pursuing a career in business, uh, pursue uh, a character, like I just want to be a person of integrity. So if you were to pursue business, then you can be a business person with integrity. You can be one that's honest. I think that um, in today's world, where information is so readily available in so many different avenues with social media, and the young students have to be able to find their own voice. So they have to be able to research and be able to search out their truths. And um, not everything that's given to them in the first round is always truthful or full of everything. And so they must be able to um, persevere through what someone may be saying to them on the first round and go find out their true story for themselves. And um, whatever that may be, whether it's a grade that they got on their document on their paper and it, let's say the grades a C and they feel that they did B work. Well go see what B work looks like. 
and compare your work to that. Because the truth is, you might have done the work, but there might be something out there that's not prevent that's preventing you from getting that beat. Making sure that you become an advocate for yourself and and what you stand for. The work that you guys are doing, really listening for what other people's stories are, and and learning how to share those. I think that I read a book once that said the four most important words in the English language were "Tell me your story." Um, I think that's really how we develop relationship with each other. It's how we learn to care about each other. Um, it's how the world becomes a healthy and more, a healthier and more loving place to live in. So, listen carefully to the people that God puts in your path. They're there for a reason, and they have things to teach you. Sure. My name is Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Doc Shayla. My name is Elvis. And we all work for the uh, Rainer Beach Story Guild. Excellent. And. Yeah. So, can you share why, 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 you think, you why you think uh, your voice and your work is important? I can. Um, <laughs> basically, it's important only because Rainer Beach is in Rainer Valley are known for a bad, you know, bad places. So basically what we do is we go out in our community and we, we interview and we publish these stories about the great things and the good things and the positive things that happen in our community. So, so we do have a voice basically for our community. So there's not so much bad energy coming in. So we're pushing the bad energy out and we're trying to enter it with some good energy and some good stories and some good reviews about where we live because not everybody in Rainier Beach is bad. I don't really believe anybody's bad. So what we do is from Cleveland, from Rainier Beach, from Franklin, we got all those students, youth coming in and they're telling us we got all these stories about people who see the good and they do the good about their organizations and what they do to help our community as well. So that's basically what we do and it's it's getting there. It's helping. We're getting there. So